good morning and hi everybody welcome to this youtube video my youtube channel it's a bright sunday morning here in the south of north americas close to florida in the atlanta area this morning we are going to try to repurpose uh, one of the keurig machines it's a keurig uh, cappuccino and latte maker and we're going to be using the frother for the cappuccino and latte maker to make a sweet lassi a sweet lassi what is a sweet lassi it's an interesting uh, morning drink that goes with breakfast and lunches and any time of the day a uh, pretty healthy drink made out of uh, yogurt so when you see the ingredients here uh, it has uh, full yogurt full vitamin d yogurt we use some milk not a lot of milk milk is the smallest ingredient it's basically a yogurt drink uh, you got to use some sugar and of course some saffron to get it a very unique taste it's a north indian drink uh, north india if you recollect or if you have ever heard of the taj mahal seven wonders of the world it's in the premier uh, north india location so if yeah, that gives you some geographical idea of uh, where the drink belongs in the northern part of india close to the capital city of india new delhi in the taj mahal uh, i'm a cappuccino and latte drinker i like a lot of creamier coffee drinks not a big black coffee guy and uh, uh, decided to buy one of these cappuccino and latte makers from keurig i've been using for almost a year now uh, pretty happy with it and decided to repurpose the latte and cappuccino frothing maker the attachment or the appendage that comes with the machine to make this mango lassi mango lassi is a frothed drink uh, you have to use uh, a vapor to bring the froth out that's the key ingredient and that's where uh, this frother comes into play that's where uh, the idea of using the frother came into play and surprisingly the drink came out very well so apart from using all kinds of uh, coffee from all over the world you would learn to use it in a very unique way now going forward to create a sweet lassi you can always have a sour lassi you can always have uh, a salty lassi as well you can repurpose or uh, replace sugar with salt and you can use it as well but quickly just to go through the ingredients uh, of course you got to have uh, the frothing machine from Keurig the frothing attachment from Keurig uh, I use the one from cappuccino and latte maker then you got to have uh, Danone yogurt you can use any yogurt you want it's a full vitamin D yogurt vitamin D milk you can use any kind of milk you want or sugar and saffron so that's pretty much uh, a very simple list of ingredients so uh, and I'm going to take a pause here, come back again when we start preparing for the sweet lassi and uh, we should have it ready in no time but uh, let's get started. Dear yeah, friends, so we will start out with uh, creating this uh, uh, yogurt drink. Uh, the very first step is to take the Keurig frother and uh, the Keurig frother, it's going to be difficult for me to show this to you but it has two uh signage here two lines one of them says calf cafe uh, cappuccino the other one says latte and we're going to try to uh, fill this uh, uh, container all the way up to the line the level that says latte because uh, this is more like a latte drink unless is more like a frothy latte drink a lot creamier so we're going to start out with uh, the latte uh, we start out with uh, putting one cup of yogurt of course uh, uh, if you want to try to make more you'll have to have a bigger machine you'll have to have a bigger container with Keurig uh, frother comes in one standard size so uh, this size can fit in one cup of yogurt and being a yogurt drink uh, you have to be pretty uh, I would say uh, decent on the decent side of using the yogurt so you use the yogurt, one cup of yogurt, uh, uh, be magnanimous with the yogurt, take one cup of yogurt, add it to the frother, add it to the frother. So you'll see that it contains, uh, it fills up about one fourth of, uh, of the frother and that is pretty much about the line, about the level at which uh, you will have your uh, uh, latte 
latte level. So you move forward with putting one cup of yogurt, shake it a little bit so that it kind of levels out. You don't want the frother uh, to have uh, uh, you to have uh, be spreading all over the yogurt spreading all over and then you take uh, a half cup measurement uh, with one cup of yogurt uh, you pour in half cup of milk half cup of milk and then you add the half cup of milk all the way fill it up to the brim if you can and uh, add half cup of milk all the way into the frother so you'll see that your frother is filled about a little less than halfway through. This will create about uh, one cup of mango lassi. Well, I would say two cups if you are measuring, but if you are taking a regular cup, it'll be about this big uh, of a mango lassi that would be uh, that would be prepared. And the last but not the least, you have to add sugar. You can add sugar to your taste. You can add stevia. You can add. Uh, any of the sugar substitutes that is never a problem so I am gonna add uh, one teaspoon I'm gonna add one teaspoon of sugar one teaspoon of sugar that goes uh, in your mango or oh, sorry in your sweet lassi I keep saying mango lassi but this is not a mango lassi you can have a mango flavored version of this lassi as well but this is just a regular sweet lassi you're trying to keep things simple here friends folks and then you add a pinch of uh, pinch of saffron just add a pinch of saffron you can add it now you can add it later on whenever you want you can do it at both the stages uh, saffron brings that really nice tangy taste to the mango lassi you cover it up all the way and now the ingredients it's ready to go on to the frother so give us a couple of minutes uh, we will be stitching this video onto the video that actually shows us uh, the actual preparation and how the frother works in this unique way of using uh, Curec. Okay, so we are going to be continuing with our preparation of uh, the lassi, the sweet lassi. And we are here at the station where we have uh, our Curec cappuccino and latte maker just to give you a quick uh, visual of what a cappuccino and latte maker looks like this is how it is it has uh, uh, a container uh, to take the water on the left it has the frother attachment on the right and then you got the curate regular coffee machine in the center so pretty much this is the assembly this is how uh, uh, the cappuccino and latte maker comes all assembled together uh, pretty big fan of this machine like the creamier drink so I'm sure you'll be enjoying it as well we start out with creating the mango lassi we have all the ingredients uh, in as you can see it looks already very yummy and chunky with the saffron in so it's gonna come up really really nice we start out with the frothing mechanism uh, of course this is a cold drink so make sure that you press the cold button on the frother the cold button on the frother is towards uh, the left of the triangle on the if you're looking at uh, horizontal base uh, towards your right, uh, it is the leftmost machine, leftmost button. You got the cold machine; it blinks for a little while. It's going to continue to stay like that. You got two more buttons: the latte and the cafe. Uh, the cafe is for uh, it's the cap machine and the cap button, C A P P. Uh, so you have the cappuccino and you have the latte option on the top and we will be using the latte option because this is uh, the more frothier, more creamier uh, drink. The lassi is a more frothier and more creamier drink. So you're going to press the latte. After that you see the latte lights up and uh, you can hear a small mild humming sound. That mild humming sound is what creates, uh, what powers up the froth. It powers up the magnetic ring at the bottom and it starts brewing up or frothing the, the lassi. You can see the mild circular motion. This is created by the magnetic ring towards the bottom of the frother. It takes a couple of minutes. It takes about a good 120 seconds, 2 minutes or up to 180 seconds before the frother completes. So, working on uh, creating a mango lassi as we speak. Uh, the plotting action creates a mango lassi as we speak. And you can see it's, uh, it's moving things around. It's uh, 
it's, uh, it's juggling up uh, uh, the complete uh, liquid. Uh, the yogurt is at the bottom. The yogurt is going to be minced first and then you'll see the milk frothing up thereafter. Now remember that uh, this is a little bit more creamier drink because it has yogurt. So you may have to do uh, or you will have to do it twice. You will have to do the frothing action twice, unlike for a regular cappuccino. Uh, but yeah, it does come out really, really well. So if you look at this, you'll start seeing on the top that you're seeing some froth on top of the saffron coming up. And if you do it twice, it's gonna it's gonna be creamier and uh, chunks of froth coming on the top. So let's give it a couple of seconds. I'll stay quiet while the Keurig does its job. And in a couple of minutes, we should have a nice, sweet, lassi ready. Okay, that's the first pass at the sweet lassi. We're gonna try to do this one more time, just because it's a more uh, uh, it's a more creamier drink than your regular drinks. We have pressed the latte again. And it's going to start frothing one more time to get the lusty created. And hopefully after the two of those, we would have the lusty ready. And then we can enjoy the drink. I'll show you. You're probably able to see the lusty frothing all the way towards the bottom. It's moving in circular motion, so that tells you that uh, yep, it's doing the it's doing the job of frothing it all together. A very nice, unique way of uh, creating the curate uh, sweet lassi. Friends, you will you will just not go wrong with this. This is an amazing machine. It's an amazing machine. It does a lot of things, a lot of different things. Black coffee fits that your taste. You may not like uh, the froth of the frother. Uh, also comes uh, separate from this assembly, but we love this. We was we were sold the day we bought it, cappuccino and latte. All the Green Mountain flavors that come with it, and of course this new selection that we created by ourselves, the new unique novel collection that we created by ourselves. So I'll give you another visual of how it's coming over. You can see the mild circular motion on the top for the lassi. The yogurt is getting minced and whipped and creamed up at the bottom. And the top milk is uh, pretty much capturing the flavor of the yogurt along with the sugar to create that creamier texture that uh, we get out of uh, a lassi. Well, I think it's almost done, so we will actually now move forward with taking uh, uh, taking the lassi off uh, the frother and in a couple of minutes uh, or uh, right after this we'll see when it gets poured and and we'll taste it out as well we have uh, the lassi the mango uh, the sweet lassi ready it's not a mango lassi so let's bear that in mind this is just a regular sweet lassi you take a cup and you start pouring the lassi in the cup and you can see how the creamier uh, texture comes into into the lassi and uh, you got the saffron color in there the color of saffron coming in that gives it the nice yellow creamy texture it'll bring a really nice taste in your mouth you can add cubes of sugar it's usually a cold drink that is served cold with cubes of ice so serve with the cubes of ice and uh, yeah try to use your Keurig Creating new drinks. I'm sure you will enjoy it. If you're using your Keurig for making coffee, you can always repurpose it to making. It falls in the category of frappuccinos uh, and colder drinks uh, that you would get at Starbucks and uh, other great coffee joints. But yeah, that's your mango lassi. Enjoy the drink. Cheers.